welcome back to Baseball Bat Dad, and today we're going to be checking out a pair of bats, which I'm sure you've heard a lot about. So this, of course, is your Axe 2019 Axe Avenge 1. It's a composite bat, 29-inch. Uh, nice bat, and of course, it's got the Axe handle. And we're hearing more and more about exit velocity and all these metrics that people are using in pro baseball. And we've heard about different training methods, trying to do different things. So today we've got our package has arrived um, from online and we've got a pair of training bats for youth baseball. So this is the Axe with driveline bats, or driveline baseball set of training bats. So it's a weighted bat conditioning system and we're just gonna open it up here and see what we have in the box. So this is the first time we're doing one of these unboxings and it is a challenge to film one-handed while wielding scissors. So here we go. So some stuff. Oh, it's a box within a box. All right, here we go. So here we go. This item is sold by the box. Don't open. So this is the 30 inch set of Axe Bat Youth trainers um, so I guess we are going to open this box yeah, this side we don't have to cut through any tape oh boxes within boxes all right this is like one of those Russian doll sets there we go there's one and there's two Aha, instruction manual. The Axbat Speed Program powered by Driveline Baseball. So we will, uh, well, we'll take a look at that later. Let's take a look at our bats first. So this is the handle load bat, 30 inch, weight of 26.4 ounces. So this is like a drop four 30 inch bat. So that is going to be a challenge for most young guys. We were used to swinging a 29 inch last season. So we'll see, 30 inch on a heavier bat, it's gonna be a challenge. There we go. It's a nice looking bat. Handle load, 20% up. All right, and uh, that's, that's one bat. Let's see what we got in the other one. This is the barrel load bat. 26.4 ounces, so it's supposed to be the same weight. And I believe this one is green. Let's see what we got here. All right, so here's our green bat. Barrel load, plus 20%, let's take that out. All right, so let's take a look at that. Well, it definitely feels heavy. And this is the green bat barrel load, handle load. Okay, so red light, green light. Um, it's interesting that they have such a precise weight printed here. Most of the other bats in production these days will just have a very uh, general weight on it. So I suspect this one's gonna be pretty close. It is a two and five eighths inch barrel. I've got the Powered by Driveline logo. It tells you how to hold your ax bat in case you didn't already know. And uh, in contrast to their regular bats, these only have a 120 day warranty. Similar bat here, just with the red coloring. So let's just see how much these guys weigh. You know, and actually here's a quick comparison to the 29 inch. So we don't have a 30 inch handy at the moment, but uh, you know, very similar features. So these are alloy, alloy bats. No need to go composite on a training bat. Here we go. Okay, so 26 point, yeah, pretty close. So just actually, just under 
the weight posted here. And then this one, the red one, very, very similar. So basically the same weight, but each bat is going to have a different feel to it. So taking a closer look at these bats, looking at the grip here, the grip looks like maybe the 2018 style axe grip. It's a little different than the 2019 Avenge grip. You can kind of see this hex pattern. Uh, it's got the length here again, 30 inch, 26.4 ounces written on it. Obviously it doesn't have a USA, UU, triple SA stamp since it is not uh, for in-game play. And then coming back at the pattern here, this kind of paint job uh, is more similar to maybe the paint scheme of like two years ago where it had again this hex pattern. And so I think that's more like 2017 style and handle load versus barrel load. So we'd expect the barrel load to feel a little more end loaded handle load, maybe a little easier swinging. So I'm curious as to why they chose the red and the green handle, uh, or the green colors to the barrel here. I would have thought that the green color would be the lighter bat and the red color would be the heavier swinging bat. Um, just think about kind of that stop and go pattern. And if we look at the top, we have the hyper whip end cap. Um, I don't know how necessary that is on training bats, but it's kind of nice that it's there. And the style, so uh, of course you don't get that composite cap uh, that you do on some of the other bats because there's not really the need to do that. Um, and the style of the end cap looks like maybe the BB Core bats from maybe two seasons ago. Um, so speaking of BB Core, we'll have to see how this swings because, you know, if you have a 26 and change ounce bat uh, at 30 inches, that's a drop about four. And so that's pretty close to swinging a BB core. And the other interesting comparison might be to see how this bat would swing against, say, a USA or USA drop five bat. And I'm wondering if you can get similar results using one of those as uh, uh, one of your training bats. So it's kind of interesting to see how these bats are going to swing and uh, we hope. All right, let's look at the program. All right, so let's take a look at the instruction manual here, the Axbat Speed Program powered by Driveline. And I think this really is probably the most important part of the program. You know, having the bats around is one thing, but really knowing what to do with them is another. I don't think just swinging the bat the same way you've been swinging at home uh, or in the cages is going to make a huge difference. Um, so let's see here. Let's see what we got. So there's a message here, parents and to the athletes. What is overload training? So we can kind of look at the studies that they did here uh, or actually have been done before. And if you look at the swings per week, this is not a small number of swings per week in these studies with college and pro players. 240 to 300 and even 600 swings a week. So that's a lot of swings. Uh, so this describes what is overload training, uh, swing mechanics. So hoping we can have these effects. Increase in consistency. Increase in exit velocity. And here are MLB exit velocities versus outcomes. So I would assume that with the more exit, the higher the exit velocity, the better outcomes uh, overall. So it looks like batting average is definitely higher when you go up to higher exit velocities. So that certainly makes a lot of sense. Probability of a hit based on stat cast, based on launch angle and speed off the bat. So here we go. So this talks about walkthrough, rocker, T-work, Happy Gilmore drill, underhand front toss, overhand front toss, and underhand adjustability front toss. So this describes the mistakes, doing it well. Um, a whole bunch of different drills here. Overhand front toss, underhand, aha. And then this, I think, is going to be important. So we've got different weeks and this is the off season and in season so I believe it's 12 weeks of both in and off season this is in season here all right so without giving away all the driveline notes here it looks like a pretty good program so I think 
the description of the drills and the recommended number of swings is going to make a difference. And so this is again the youth program and we're going to give it a try with the player and see how he does over uh, this time and we will be back with results uh, as we get them. And uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you out on the field. And if you like that video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. He hits it hard! He hits it deep! Out of here! Hey everyone, thanks for watching our videos again. Check us out on YouTube and social. And please hit the subscribe link in the box above. And check out some of our other videos. And we'll see you out on the field.